a label. So we know that this is pulse with modulation. And this is in microseconds. Okay, and then right here, this is going to be angular velocity. And this is in rads per second. Okay. So why in the world do I have, let me um, just move, oh my goodness. Just move this down. So I see that my data is going beyond its limits. It has to stop right there for now. See that? So this is pretty good. Now I want to put these, I'm going to play some error bars on here. And let's just go to error bars, more, select on this and then custom specify value. So let me go here. And this is the standard deviation. Uh, let me just cancel it because I need to move this chart out of the way. Let me see if this will work. All right, say okay. Come over here and, and we can see our error bars on here. Very small, very nice and tight. Okay. Uh, I guess if I wanted to make it a little bit bigger, I could do like so. And you can see those error bars a lot better. Now, and let me go ahead and make this a bit smaller. So I'm going to stop at 300 so we can see this a lot better. All right. And let me save that before I go any further. So now, um, if I select on this graph, you'll see these data points. And if I go down one, it's going to include like a point out here. It's not a measured point. And, and then if I drag this over, it will give me points, predicted points. So I don't necessarily want a, um, I don't necessarily want a, um, how can I say, um, a, a model, because the model is being used to produce these points. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to see if I can put my, um, my error, my standard deviation error on, on these points. So let's see here. So I have those selected. Let me see if I can do that. I'm, and again, I want to do custom. So it's putting them on there. And I want to select these again. So I'm thinking that I can at least put them around the, um, the points that are being produced from the model. So right here, if I can go in It's kind of difficult to see. Um, and what I probably should do is take the error bars off of my, um, let me see if I can take my error bars off of this one. I'll just delete those for now. So I'll just take the, hmm. I'll just say zero. I do that only for one side. Hmm. Okay, that's not quite what I wanted to do. So I'll just undo this. So it might be a little bit difficult to see. I don't know if I can format these error bars with a different color or not. Never tried. But I'm going to 